Simone Lee's sovereignty features a new body of work made for the United States Pavilion. It co-mingles disparate histories and narratives, including those related to ritual performances of the Baga peoples in Guinea, early Black American and material culture from the Edgefield District in South Carolina, and the landmark 1931 Paris Colonial Exposition. Co-curator Ava Ruspini tells us more. All right, so welcome to the U.S. Pavilion, the presentation of Simone Lee, Sovereignty, an exhibition of all new works in bronze, ceramic, raffia, as well as video. And um, what you see directly behind me is the artist who has completely transformed the U.S. Pavilion uh, with a facade piece made out of a thatched roofing and a monumental bronze sculpture. And inside the pavilion, she has created a suite of mostly figurative works in bronze and ceramic that uh, draw from a variety of histories and materials, uh, mostly from the African continent and also from the African diaspora. Simone is, has a long engagement with clay, um, and in working with bronze, the bronze works also begin with clay. So a lot of artists, when they make bronzes, they make a, you know, a small maquette and the foundry then blows it up to a certain scale, but that's not the case with Simone. She is creating her bronzes to scale with modeling clay, doing that first, and then the modeling clay is the basis for a, um, a cast, which then the uh, bronze is poured into that cast and it produces um, these bronzes. So what's significant is she is working at the scale in modeling clay that we see here. So uh, sculpting at the scale that we see behind me, which is absolutely astonishing because her hand touches everything and that sense that her hand is touching everything really makes uh, a work resonant and makes it human while also being monumental and inspiring. And to toggle between those two, uh, <laughs> those two registers is pretty astonishing. Uh, as an artist, Simone employs a strategy that she calls the creolization of form, which is bringing together um, materials, histories, objects that are joined together by their colonial histories. And so one of the main themes in this exhibition is kind of coming to terms with those, the legacy of colonialism and uh, an artist that is bringing in objects from the past and making them resonant for our moment and for the future.